What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to be talking about The Strings. So The Strings is a brand new horror film that's going to be coming out on November 23rd on Shudder. It's a new Shudder original and if you're not familiar with what Shudder is all about, it's essentially a horror Netflix. It's just a streaming service solely for horror and yeah, in the last few weeks I've had the opportunity to check out a few of their movies early, a few movies that have already been released that are going there exclusively and in the case here of The Strings, a brand new original film that had a festival run in the late part of last year but is officially getting its release now on Shudder and I gotta be completely and utterly honest, I did not like this movie. I found this to be, quite frankly, the worst film I've seen this year. This movie just did not work for me on any level at all, really. This is a movie that really didn't have much for me to really grip onto. And if you are new here to the channel, I'd almost implore you to go please watch another one of my reviews because I don't really think that this one's really gonna show what I've got as a reviewer. And I've always approached my reviews in a very fair manner. Even if I don't like something, even if I really don't like something and I kinda wanna be funny about it, ultimately I try to praise what's there to praise and I try to be honest about my opinion on what did not work for me while also being honest about my opinion on what really did work for me and when it comes to the strings yeah this is a movie that really for me mainly felt aimless it was a movie that mainly felt very boring and dull and quite uninspired to be completely honest and i don't often say this when i watch a movie even if it's a bad movie but i genuinely feel like i wasted my time with this as usual i'm always grateful to be able to check out a movie early but i have to be honest with you guys my viewers uh, when it comes to my reviews and yeah this is just something that did not work for me the strings like i said comes out on november 23rd exclusively on shutter because it is an original of the platform and it's written and directed by ryan glover who's somebody i'm not familiar with but yeah you know i don't want to sit here and crap on the people who made this movie but ultimately i just really didn't find much about this film that i enjoyed at all our main character in the film is Catherine, played by tegan johnston and yeah she was I wasn't really captivated by her character or her performance in any way, shape, or form. She's a girl that's living in this uh, cottage of sorts, this this kind of like home that she's staying in for a time period, and she's making music, she's working on different kinds of music, and while she's there, she starts to uncover that some evil entity is watching over her, starting to appear in some pictures of hers, and some weird things start to take place. Ultimately, outside of that fairly generic premise, the movie itself is... I wouldn't even say generic. It kind of feels like it's below generic. This is an almost overly aimless film. This is almost an overly uneventful film. Ultimately, I was about halfway in the movie and I felt literally nothing had happened. And as things would start to happen, they're so minor, they're so small, that it just kind of feels like, what's the point? While I was watching it, the only thing I could really praise is the use of sound design at times and the score. There are moments where the score definitely creates an eerie, creepy vibe, but ultimately you don't really feel that a whole lot and it doesn't really make the film any better, to be completely and utterly honest. Outside of that, the performances were whatever, lackluster to be completely honest. The characters were hollow, there was really nothing there, and the only real character that we're following is this character of Catherine, played by Tegan Johnston, like I mentioned. And we're just kind of seeing this character sit around. We're seeing her go outside to smoke a cigarette, we're seeing her take a bath, we're seeing her on a FaceTime call with a friend, we're seeing her make some music that's quite frankly very strange. Uh, the fact that this movie is called The Strings is also kind of just, it doesn't really make sense for what this movie is if you've actually seen it uh, since the movie doesn't really have too much meat on the bone i don't want to really say too much about the film because i don't want to spoil it for anybody who's really cares but this is one of those movies you know that i'm gonna have to tell you guys just don't watch it like this is genuinely a do not watch recommendation a lot of other times i'll say hey listen i can't recommend this film but if it's something that intrigues you maybe check it out it's usually a harmless watch something that may not be great might be a little bit boring might be a little bit slow may not be the best film but i always say if the poster if the trailer if what i'm saying intrigues you then check it out you know and I, I guess i'll still say the same about this one but i have to be honest when i say i genuinely feel like i wasted my time watching this movie time that i'm not going to get back i very rarely think that i very rarely feel that way and i have never said that here on the channel or at least not that i can think of i very very rarely talk about movies to that capacity even if a movie is not great and i want to be funny about it and kind of poke fun at the movie 
Ultimately, I like to praise what really worked and try to recognize that there may be an audience that will attach to a movie that I didn't enjoy because maybe it's a different kind of movie that just doesn't work for me. Ultimately, The Strings is just a very dull, boring film with a very lackluster performance at the center, some cinematography and some music elements that definitely make the film a little bit more enjoyable, but ultimately the horror element of this film is damn near just non-existent, and there really isn't a story to follow. You know, like I said in the beginning of this, this is written and directed by Ryan Glover, and quite frankly, I don't really know what he wrote because nothing happens. I'm sorry, Ryan, but I have to be completely and utterly honest when I say that I didn't like this movie and I really can't imagine very many other people will like this movie. So, have you seen this movie? Have you not seen this movie? Are you interested in checking this movie out? Maybe you have Shudder and you're clicking on this review because you're like, hey, I want to watch this, but I don't know if it's any good. Let me see what people have to say. Yeah, I just have to be honest when I say don't waste your time. Genuinely, I do not feel like this is a movie that's even worth the time to watch, even if you're just going to watch it to poke fun at. I think that if you threw it on even after watching this review and said, nah, I'm just going to make up my own mind and go check it out, you know, go ahead and do so. But I genuinely believe about after 10, 15 minutes, you're going to think that Anthony guy was right. So yeah, that's going to be my thoughts on The Strings. November 23rd is when it will be on Shutter exclusively, and uh, I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts. So a big thank you to you guys for watching. Hit that like button, comment your thoughts, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.